What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new Nintendo 64 video game review for you. A long while back, actually one of the first reviews that I ever did was for Mystical Ninja starring Goemon on this channel. Well, I've learned and grown on this channel project thingy, or whatever you want to call this. So I'd like to revisit this game and see if it's still worth picking up and playing today. Mystical Ninja starring Goemon was developed and published by Konami with a North American release date of April 16th, 1998. The story starts, in the feudal era of Japan, Goemon is at the market with one of his friends when a flying ship of aliens? Uh, sure, okay. Crashes into the Edo Castle where the king and queen live and takes over the castle. These aliens plan to create the greatest stage play ever! Sure, why not? Now, it's up to Goemon and his friends to rescue the king, save the queen, and figure out what the heck is going on and help the town. Right away, you'll notice that this story does not take itself seriously. It's very silly, with a lot of Japanese pop culture references, if you understand any of those, and also has a lot of fourth wall breaking humor. Now, next, let's touch on some of the gameplay aspects of this game. Goemon appears to be an open-world action-adventure game, but the majority of its dungeons all play in a linear fashion, so please take note of that. By the end of the game, you'll have four characters to choose from, and you can seamlessly switch between them using the C buttons. Each of them have their own unique attack and weapon that they use when battling enemies. Next, let's touch on where I believe Goemon shines the brightest. As this game is made by Konami, it has an absolutely fantastic music soundtrack, and the sound effects are quite nice as well. Each character has their own unique effects whenever they're attacking or moving around, and some of the intro songs in this game are just absolutely fantastic. I definitely recommend checking out the OST if you've never listened to it before. If Goemon has any flaws, well the first one that I believe is that some of the backgrounds it can be grainy just lacking any real detail like especially when you're looking off in the distance i don't know they just look kind of strange and just lack any real pop the second one is that sometimes when you have to go for a new mission or complete a mission you often tend to wander around and just have absolutely no idea where to go now you can pay this person called the fortune teller to try to help you but even then that doesn't always help you so sometimes you're just kind of wandering around aimlessly like where do I go? What am I supposed to do next? Overall, Mystical Ninja starring Goemon is a solid game, but has a very strange sense of humor. Because of this, it's steadily climbed in price, with a current price trading price of $85. To quote Sinest Drunk, this might be one that you should try to play any way you can. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time.